this is absolute craziness right look at the ways market are trading but this was in line with our expectation yesterday also i told thoroughly that market may go to 17400 450 levels uh, there is significant put writing at 17000 uh, uh, 17500 and 17600 should be very, is very very crucial and nifty should hold to 17600 but unfortunately today morning we gap down global queues were really down yesterday dow futures closed around 400 450 points uh, down so we have a negative impact in our markets and we gap down 17 exactly we, we opened at 17600 and we saw 17400 but what was very interesting is that second part of trading session market even touched 17600 so if you see the chart it is uh, something like a w or what i don't know yeah it is uh, it's like formation of so if you see the chart so if you see the chart it is a formation of w pattern yeah this is bank nifty and let me go to nifty yeah this is the w chart look at the way markets are trading this is this is what i was cautioning about see it went to 17450 levels then it came rejection at 17500 came back and reversed all thanks to bank nifty i think axis bank kotak bank was performing in a very nice way uh, axis bank is up by 1.58 percent and even kotak is up by one percent so that was the main reason nifty was able to sustain if that if bank nifty was not here maybe we, we would have touched 17400 or even below 17400 uh, Wednesdays are meant to be volatile that is what we are experiencing and I don't know how people are trading Your call writers gone wrong stop loss hit booked loss put writers gone wrong stop loss hit booked loss so how do we trade in this kind of jittery market look at the market way markets are trading gone are those days where you put a straddle strangle sit on that you will make money those days are gone now now we are used to volatile moves high volatile moves one day 200 300 nifty alone has moved more than 400 points today from 17600 to 17400 from 17400 to 17600 that alone 400 points two way move in nifty alone today and look at bank nifty gap down 37000 to 37900 at least okay bank nifty is used to 1000 1200 points but nifty is something really very pathetic and i really don't know how you people traded we booked some minor loss today because of uh, this volatile w shape move and we couldn't uh, trade properly now what is going to happen tomorrow is we will have to wait tomorrow so tomorrow is going to be range bond so tomorrow 17600 on the upside is very important crucial at the same time 17450 is very crucial on the downside so today's high and today's low is very important if tomorrow if tomorrow if market goes above today's high that is 17600 then we may go to we may retest 17800 but if tomorrow market goes below 17400 then we will have to wait we will have to wait till 17000 is touched so that's what i can see there is a 17000 yeah around yeah sorry around this level 17300 this gap which was formed on uh, around uh, March, uh, March, uh, end of March, this is going to this gap will act as a near term support that is somewhere around 17,400 levels. So, if that is taken out, then directly to 17,000, I think, yeah, around 17,000, 17,200 or 17,000. So, let us wait and see. So hopefully market as see what happens is normally if markets are very volatile on Wednesday it tend to be range bound on uh, Thursdays. So so sorry Wednesday today is Tuesday and tomorrow is Wednesday. So I'm talking I'm thinking like uh, it is a normal day. So we have two days uh, two more trading sessions uh, only one more trading session 14th and 15th is uh, holiday and 16th and 17th is uh, usually normal holiday right so let's see how things pan out as of now what i think is market should be range bound for tomorrow at least and bank nifty was the main reason why we 
why uh, nifty was able to sustain if bank nifty was not there then we would have gone to maybe 17400 or 17500 and in spite of all these moves uh, reliance was not performing hdfc bank was not performing adani was not performing all these days adani was performing but now adani adani is also not performing yeah so reliance also reliance is not at all performing i think crude has gone back above 100 dollars so that could be the main reason why adani is not performing and what we can see from the open interest is that there is high open interest being written at 17600 so can we consider 17600 as a good resistance we'll have to wait and see as of now as i talk to you us futures are really flat in fact it was very flat in the morning but uh, eventually in the second part of trading session after europe opened we recovered us futures recovered a lot and people say it is because of higher inflation rate uh, china that and this and uh, markets are scattered everywhere i don't think it is going to hit another lifetime high and even if you see the nifty uh, chart which is uh, which is a monthly chart uh, let me take you to nifty monthly chart so very simple logic see here it's been forming a uh, top it is forming a top here it's kind of doji pattern and even today is a this month also is a formation of doji so i would be surprised if nifty goes to maybe some 13000 18600 or not i don't think nifty is going to go any any anywhere soon it is going to come on the downside only so this is what i think maybe you have to be cautious don't go long in the market as of now whatever news was there is being factored into at least let the market consolidate maybe it will come to 14000 or maybe 13000 levels then you can go on buy you can buy the dips you you tell me this chart have you ever seen a chart like this and you can see you, you will see market going on the upside i don't think so this is not going to happen all it is going to happen is what is going to happen is it is going to consolidate it is going to come on the downside then it may go up i have never ever seen a map in this type in the monthly chart then you see a big bullish candle and market going on have you ever seen if you sh- if you show me a ma- if you show me a chart like this you let me know we'll see you will not see you will not see a chart on the top then there is a bullish candle and market will keep on going for the last 5 months it- this is a case this has been happening and it has to come down there is no other way uh, believe me like it is not going to go up at least for now So anyway let's see how things pan out at least tomorrow we should have a calm expiry like what we experienced today today was very tremendous 200 400 points up and up, up move there and here and bank nifty moving 1000 points so bank nifty was a <laughs> help today otherwise if bank nifty also came down then we would have lost and i'm not uh, i'm not sure if uh, fi data has come Uh, let me check uh, if fi data has come or not and i'm sure they would have sold uh, heavily that is because uh, all these days they have been net buyers and when they buy this buy in small quantity and when they sell they sell in huge quantity today alone if you see this chart today alone they have yeah today alone they have sold for around 3128 crores and the ace of bot for 870 crores all these days they were just bluffing in front of you just showing you that the market is good. They, the fi's are long and we you this retail people we retail people will go long and when we go long the smart money short at the market this is what is happening when it comes to hdfc bank also hdfc merger also same issue from 15000 to uh, the 1500 to 1580 600 they took then they brought it down this is what is happening and this is all uh, you know big money smart money playing very smart against retailers and uh, we really don't know how things are going to span out i don't think markets are going to go up i am telling you again and again it is very hard for the markets to go up this bull run is finished you will have to wait for the dips wait for the dip then you have to buy 
so we'll discuss about that in uh, in a future video for now uh, i am expecting uh, nifty to uh, close below uh, 17600 to 17400 expiry tomorrow tomorrow's expiry and bank nifty should uh, yeah bank nifty should be also expiring between 37900 to 37000 so 1000 points difference in nifty and bank nifty that is because bank nifty is a very uh, high beta index right so there will be kind of uh, uh, very high moves in uh, bank nifty so let's hope for the best uh, that's it nothing much thank you for watching take care bye